Oh boy, things are getting spicy in gaming news. Welcome back to another Game Vault video. As always, I'm Captain Beefy, and we're talking about Stellar Blade once again. About Mark Kern, uh, aka Grums, and yeah, the evilness of these woke dirt bags. So let's cue up the music and we'll get right to it. All right, we're back at that park place again. If you haven't done so, and I will link their articles down below, I do recommend visiting this website and um, becoming, you know, getting an account with them or whatever. I haven't done that yet. I'm going to get an account with these guys and get set up with them so I get newsletters and all that. But they're reporting here on April 27th that Evil Individual places $20,000 bounty on Grums, a.k.a. Mark Kern, for beginning campaign to uncensor Stellar Blade. Now, if you all remember... Um, from a couple days ago, and we'll keep this real, real short, is he put together a plan to get the original promised version of the game, the one that people pre-ordered now. And here's the thing, a lot of people are getting mad, you know, like, well, why? It's just a little bit of cloth, it's just a little bit of this. And I, and I get that, right? Some of the changes are very minor, very whatever. But when you pay for something, you're supposed to get what you paid for, right? If you pay for a 20 ounce drink, and they give you a 14 ounce drink where well, you're getting ripped off and that's kind of like what this is about it's about false advertisement it's about censorship it's about bending the knee to these woke journalists activists and creeps and freaks of nature and the the bottom feeding pond scum that has infiltrated gaming all over the place so yeah let's move on in here so Grums, Mark Kern, put together an eight-part program just detailing ways to get the censorship lifted. He said it worked before to actually um, bring back a, a, an older version of uh, World of Warcraft or the original version. I don't know all the full details of that one, but you know, he said it worked for that. You know, um, He does have a um, petition up right now. I signed it yesterday when I made uh, the video. At the time I signed it, it was at, I think, 15,000 out of 25,000 in the goal, roughly. Last I saw, I think it had expanded and gone past that goal. Maybe we'll take a look at it at the end of this video, and I'll put a link to that as well in the description. But we got two articles to talk about, but this one here. We got a guy named Tone Man. Okay, so um, Grum says, all of Eve's outfits uncensored. This is what was supposed to look like, and there's a video for it, right? And Tone Man says, 20k to anyone that makes this dipshit disappear. Let's look at Tone Man, see what's up with Tone Man lately. Oh, this post is from an account that no longer exists. That's shocking. Yeah, this is what happens. You get these guys that um, want to talk smack like that, want to be tough, want to, you know, and then all of a sudden they realize that their little soy boy antics may get them in trouble or get them a lot of backlash and then you know they either deactivate their account go on private or whatever depending on how egregious the tweet was and then hide in the corner hoping everything goes away and they can eventually come back out of hiding without everybody taking a crap on it again so remember tone man remember this guy he'll be back and um yeah just pay him a visit and say hi you know don't don't harass him don't give him a hard time. Don't send any hate his way. Just say hi. Say, hey, I remember you. You're that guy that wanted to, you know, yeah, that kind of thing. So, yeah. So he broke federal law by putting a bounty on his head, right? For tweeting about Stellar Blade. If I take, these are rookie numbers. My favorite anime character is far more impressive. Um, yeah, how unhinged do you have to be? There you go. 60 billion. Um, how unhinged do you have to be to actually ask for to put a hit out on somebody for their opinion on a video game. How crazy, how lunatic, how beyond redemption do you have to be to be that guy? That is just absolutely astounding. Let's see if there's any comments on it. Yeah, Tone Man is severely evil. Irony is lost on Tone Man, I'm sure. Yeah, no kidding, guys. Absolutely no kidding whatsoever. So yeah, that's that story. And that's just a quick little story there just to show you how sick these people are. I remember... Um, like 
last year with uh, Hogwarts Legacy, somebody put together a website that listed all of the Twitch streamers that were twitching the game, so you could either boycott them or go harass them or whatever, and it like resulted in nothing. It, it's just absolutely stupid, right? Here's what's funny. So, Hogwarts Legacy comes out. Somebody puts together a website dedicated to doing that, to harassing or whatever, the streamers. And it has absolutely zero impact, right? And I think it got taken down and people just crapped all over it. But then you got a guy like Cabrutus putting together his uh, DEI detected website and it's being celebrated around gaming. That shows you the tonal shift that's going on. That shows you the sheer number of people who are on the right side of history, who don't care about all of this garbage, all of this nonsense, all this DEI BS. They don't care about it. They want good games. They want great characters. <clears throat> They want to have a good time. You're spending seventy dollars on a premium game right now to get the bare minimum, right? You're spending anywhere from another twenty to forty to sixty to get season passes and all that other stuff. Your investments in games are getting close to two hundred dollars per game. And if there's microtransactions involved and you're throwing money at that, who knows how much you can end up spending on a game? It's it's astounding. You know the the level of greed has just gotten out of hand, and that's something that we're going to address separately at another time in some other videos, but you know, spending all that kind of money, you don't want restrictions. You, you know, if I spend $70 on something, I expect what I expect. You know, if I buy a T-bone steak at a restaurant, I expect to get a T-bone. I don't want to get a a, a a New York strip or something else. No, I want my freaking T-bone. I paid good money for it. So yeah, that's that. Second one we're going to talk about today is Gamers begin canceling PlayStation Network subscriptions to free Stellar Blade from censorship. So this is one of the things that Mark Kern recommended doing in his little eight-step program. And it's something I'm going to do myself, actually. I, I've thought long and hard about it, and I'm like, I've been a member for so long. I've got so many games invested in it and all that. I'm hoping this has the impact <clears throat> that it should. You know, I'm hoping it has the impact that it should and that it's going to make Sony think if they see all these cancellations coming in, um, especially if you tag Sony um, North America or whatever in a post and show them your cancellation, that could have an impact because they can always fix Stellar Blade, restore it to its um, original promised state and then you can uncancel and re-enact your you know, subscription and all that. <clears throat> so that's a thought here, but yeah, let's look at this story a little bit. So Dozens, if not hundreds, and potentially even thousands of gamers are canceling their PlayStation Network subscriptions in protest of censorship in Stellar Blade. The official Stellar Blade account on X promised on April 21st that the game would be uncensored in all countries when it was released. The account posted Stellar Blade offers the same uncensored version in all countries, including the Japanese version. <clears throat> and now we got readers adding context. Where the director of Stellar Blade addresses the censorship himself in a video and that it was indeed censored when patched. So, yeah. And again, we show some of these, you know, before and after shots like that of the, uh, you know, the outfits for one thing. The amount of gore, if you look at her shoulder and breast and her legs, it, you can see significantly less gore. <clears throat> so, there he is talking. And I'll leave a link to this as well down in the comments below. Uh, but, yeah. The plan to get Stellar Blade censorship removed, condensed version of the pin tweet, contact shift up offices, send physical mails, that carries more weight in Asia, and here's how to send it to them, the address and all that. <clears throat> also gives you the uh, email address here. Uh, cancel your PSN and tag PlayStation, sign the petition. Yeah, I do want to open that up because we're going to check that out later and tag everything free Stellar Blade. <clears throat> you know, they're also stating, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry, man. If you do want to buy the game still, and not give Sony its little percentage and all that. Don't buy buy the physical copy. Don't buy the copy through the PlayStation Store because they get like a percentage of that sale and all that. Um, but whereas it's a, it works out differently if you buy the physical copy. And you can play the unpatched version of it if you don't have automatic updates or whatever when you first in install it or if you uh, have it disconnected from the internet, whatever. There's a way to do it so that you don't get that day one patch, which is cool. And now we got lots of people, boom, ending their subscriptions, sending pictures, and letting PlayStation know, free Stellar, free Stellar Blade right there, free Stellar Blade, this guy did it right here, PlayStation and Sony and free Stellar Blade, 
Not that these guys did it wrong, but I'm just saying it, it'll carry a lot of weight if the they really start seeing these things hammering away at them, you know. Uh, boom, your hypocritical censorship practices are BS. You advertised an uncensored game to garner pre-orders and on day one censor quietly, either reinstate the game as it was advertised or continue to lose subscriptions. And it was shown the dates that their accounts go out. Um, Sayel is... Uh, Guess what the only people gaslighting me have in common? Go on guess. PlayStation, I'll cover you in your cream. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a look at this clown. Energy vampire. Hetero games journalist. If only you'd listen. Um, let's go back to it. Oh, boy. He's got a lot of weird crap on his uh, timeline here. Yeah, maybe we should back off of this one. Yikes. All right, say, uh, whatever. But yeah, he's talking about covering them and all that. But th we got pic This is what I wanted to show. I'm sorry. The pictures of all the people sending in their subscriptions and canceling them, you know. So, there's that. It's very, very interesting what's going on here. Uh, we've had, at the time of the writing of this article, 80,000 individuals have signed the petition. Um, yeah, that's it. So, there's a lot going on. Mark Kern's under fire. They want to they wanna take him out for 20 grand. Which is absolutely foolish. I mean, that guy. That's a pathetic little bottom feeder. You can just see him sitting around in his mom's basement, you know, just crying <laughs> at this whole thing. I don't know. That poor girl's being sexualized. I have to stand up for her. Get out of here, you freaking little dweeb. Oh, uh, so the petition, 33,000. So the next goal is 35,000. So in a day, roughly. Wow, it's over doubled. 18,000 signed today alone. Nice. Absolutely nice. I'm very happy to see this. Good. So, yeah, I'm going to leave all the relevant links down in the description below. If you found this video enjoyable at all, useful, whatever, leave a like on it and tell me what you think about the censorship. Do you think it's fair to advertise something and then change it last minute, the day of release, taking things away from it, and... Um, not telling anybody do you think that's fair practice i know a lot of people argue that you know oh it's just a, oh you just want to see more flesh and all that this goes beyond that and again we talked about the slippery slope in the last video the more you allow these things to happen the more they're going to happen you know eventually it's going to be like well you know we took out this aspect of the gameplay you know because it just it wasn't ready or whatever so like, well, wait a minute that's part of the reason i bought it i wanted to be able to do this thing and now i can't do this thing you know that's going to be the next step ah oh, whatever man whatever all right well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel ring that bell for notifications i'll see you guys next time until then peace